Not only is it possible to view your document in an image window, but you can also view multiple documents at the same time. So if we head up to the file menu and choose open, heading back to our info folder and pick any other image from here, let's go with bottle.jpg and click on open. Then what will happen by default is that it will appear in its own tab in its own window and you will only be able to see this artwork and no other. However, if you go to the window menu and go down to arrange, you'll find that in the upper half of that list, we have a way that we can split the view of our image window so we can view two or more files at the same time. In this case, if I choose two up vertical, I get this view. So you might ask, well, why is that helpful? Well, Perhaps you're creating some artwork based on a poster design from the previous month and you want to create something that's similar, or perhaps you want to drag and drop things from one window to another, which is another form of copying. You can do that. So there are ways in which this can be incredibly helpful. If at some point you decide that you wish to go back to viewing just one file at a time, you go back to window and choose arrange and then choose consolidate all to tabs. If I close down the file called bottle without making any edits, you can do the same for a single document. If I go to window, arrange, and then choose new window for horizon.jpg, the current file we have in front of us, then it will create a second tab, but it is for this document. Now at first it appears as though it serves no useful benefit, but if I go to window, arrange, two up vertical to see that in a holistical sense so that any edits that I make in the window on the right hand side will show up on the window on the left hand side. An example of that would be if I tap the B key to go to the brush tool and then just click and drag and, and paint in the window over here, you'll see that it's mirrored. So it is the same document, just two different views. Of course, I don't want to do that to the image, so I'll go to edit and I'll choose undo brush tool. You can close down the extra window, but of course, when you're left with the last window and if you try to close that down, that will be the same as closing the document. You will be prompted to save edits. But that is an example of how multiple views called end up views can be beneficial in Photoshop.